time for an annual daddy-daughter trip. Got my daughter Ellery with me, the second oldest. And we are gonna go up in the oh-so-popular Rock Canyon here, out of Provo, just because it's so convenient and so close to home. And it's really pretty up here. It's a Tuesday night, middle of the week, so crowds might be a little thinner. It's still a super popular place in the afternoons and evenings though for rock climbers and hikers alike. But uh, we'll go see what kind of campsites we can find. There's quite a few of them up here. Here we go. So in the morning, we're going to try and go up to Squaw Peak. It'll be Ellery's first mid-major peak that she ever bags, if we can make it up there tomorrow. We didn't make it as far up as I wanted to, but that's okay because uh, this is another site that I've always thought about camping at. There's quite a few fire pits around here. I think on Friday nights a lot of climbers like to come here because there's some nice climbing routes right up in here too. So, uh, But Tuesday night I think we're good. There's nobody else up here. Plenty of firewood down here. And uh, we're going to set up our hammocks. What do you think, Ellery? Should we set up our hammocks here? Yeah, we're gonna do hammocks tonight. Got our hammocks up. Getting dark though. So after getting the hammock set up and sitting by the fire a bit, uh, Ellery is tired enough, she's in bed now, so she is getting to have her first real camping experience in a hammock. And we'll definitely check that out in the morning. It's a, For her, it's a new little hammock kit uh, we got. Uh, I ran out and got this afternoon at a store in the county, so... Uh, and I got my hammock up, so we'll check those out in the morning. It's morning time, 6.30. Got a little bit chilly overnight, still is a little bit, but uh, plenty warm. And uh, yeah, first night out in the hammock this year. Not too bad. Ellery's choice. There's, Heller, there's Ellery. Good morning, Ellery. Good time to get up and get some breakfast and uh, hot chocolate going. Did you sleep good? Is it comfortable and warm? So I gave Ellery a choice between a hammock and a tent. She chose hammock. And I thought it'd be fun to get out in the hammock for the first time this year too, so. So of course I brought my uh, hammock that I made myself. This is uh, the hammock patterned after what's called a switchback hammock. And uh, it's a double layer. And I've got my trusty little auto shade in here, reflective auto shade that I put in there to use as a insulator underneath me. Works pretty good. And so yeah. And then for Ellery, 
I actually went out and picked up this uh, hammock system. It's uh, made by a brand called Adventure Research. It's actually a store brand, uh, probably a sister company to uh, Wilderness Technology, which both come from uh, Recreation Outlet, which is a local recreation shop we have in our county, and also in Salt Lake and Ogden. And there's another store in Oregon that uh, sells this brand. So, um, what's cool about this is it does come with a built-in bug net with a zipper, two-way zipper, and it also came with a tarp, which I have not set up yet. They say it needs to be seam sealed, so we'll do that at home, but uh, this uh, system here, so hammock, net, or the hammock with the bug net built in and the tarp that comes with it, it was $50. $50. For a tarp and hammock bug net combo. That is crazy. I don't even think I can make that myself for that cheap. So, um, it's got a couple little gear pockets inside, it makes it nice. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah, it did not come with a suspension. Um, actually, uh, it did come with some cord, uh, thick cords here with uh, a couple hooks and uh, the store sold uh, tree straps, a tree strap kit with carabiners would have been $20 more, but uh, I just uh, swapped out um, what it came with in the end channels here and popped in some continuous loops from uh, another hammock at home that uh, doesn't get used so much. It's just a little uh, lounging hammock that uh, I had made for one of the kids. And uh, so yeah, I just took out those continuous loops, put them in here, and then brought some whoopee slings and some uh, straps that I already had at home. So uh, using what I had. So for Ellery, for insulation, I got this uh, Space Blanket Heat Sheet it's, uh, by Adventure Medical Kits. And uh, saw this on YouTube in the video. And uh, so I took some shock cord and made some end channels here with some tape, taped up some end channels, put a shock cord through it, and a couple cord locks here. And that is becomes an under quilt and it works surprisingly well and weighs very very little almost nothing so yeah we are on our way back to the car it's uh, just after 8 in the morning uh, we were gonna go for Squaw Peak that was the plan but unfortunately Ellery's not feeling good so we're heading back home so she can get some more rest at home and try and get her feeling better before she goes to a friend's birthday party this afternoon. So. Well, it's been about two weeks since I took Ellery out for a little backpacking trip up Rock Canyon. And since she woke up sick, uh, we had to bail on that trip a little early and go straight home when we woke up. So she's feeling a lot better now, only uh, was ill for the day. So after taking her sisters out on some trips, we're going to finish off uh, this trip with Ellery by doing a little day hike instead of going back up to Rock Canyon to do Squaw Peak like we did with Willow. We are now up here above Sundance and Aspen Grove to do Stewart Falls up along the uh, 
south side of Mount Tepanogos. So, uh, should be a pretty good hike, two miles to the falls. Gonna be a lot of people on the trail, very popular hike. I haven't done it since winter, but uh, Ellery has never done it. So, are you excited to go see the big waterfall? Yeah. All right, we're gonna, let's go do it. We can see the waterfall through the trees. We're almost there. Look at this, two waterfalls for the price of one. There's one, and there's the main one, Stuart Falls. Falls, Stuart Falls. Made it down to the waterfall, and now we're on our way back. Kind of noisy down there being so close to it, so no sense in talking much on video there. But Ellery enjoyed it. Did you like it, Ellery? Yeah. Yeah, nice cold mist down there. So, two miles back to the car, and then for ice cream. Yep, that's Ellery's turn for hamburger and ice cream today. Here's a shot of Sundance. The uh, ski resort back there. Part of the big ski resort that uh, Robert Redford owns. Alright, we made it back at the car. What's next? To go to the creamery. What's next? To go to the creamery. And get what? Ice cream and cheeseburgers. Okay, what was your what was the prettiest thing you saw today? I like the roses in the waterfall. Yep. Alright, sounds good. Ice cream and cheeseburgers, here we go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, you can subscribe here if you haven't already. Or if you've got time, you can watch some more right here. It's up to you. You know you want to click one. <laughs>